Assisted by his impressive knowledge of the Arabic language, Bukai went on in his lecture. The notion of a primary origin of the constituents of milk is expressed in the verse by the Arabic word min, in English, from, and the existence of a conjunction is specified by the word baini. The latter not only signifies among, but also between. So it is used to express the idea of bringing two things or people together. Based on language and science, Bukai cited to his colleagues his version of the milk verse saying, to me, the most valid translation of verse 66, chapter 16, should be as such. Verily, in cattle, there is a lesson for you. We give you to drink of what is inside their bodies, coming from a conjunction between the contents of the intestine and the blood, milk pure and pleasant for those who drink it. Bukai resumed, in order to completely understand the full meaning of the verse, we need to consult the science of animal physiology. The substances that ensure the general nutrition of the body come from chemical transformations which occur along the length of the digestive tract. These substances come from the contents of the intestine. On arrival in the intestine at the appropriate stage of chemical transformation, they pass through its wall and towards the systemic circulation. This passage is affected in two ways, either directly by what are called the lymphatic vessels or indirectly by the portal circulation. This conducts them first to the liver, where they undergo alterations, and from here, they then emerge to join the systemic circulation. In this way, everything passes through the bloodstream. The constituents of milk are secreted by the mammary glands. These are nourished, as it were, by the product of food digestion brought to them via the bloodstream. Blood therefore plays the role of collector and conductor of what has been extracted from the blood, and it brings nutrition to the mammary glands, the producers of milk, as it does to any other organ. <music>